Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Hope everybody's doing great. As the recording of this, it is after midnight on Saturday. No, I don't even know what day it is anymore. It's Friday night. It's actually Saturday morning. And I've been editing next level videos because we had the next level event. Thank you to everybody that freaking joined me. I know that we had over 320 people at one point. Absolutely incredible. We have even had somebody from Prime One pop in. So again, I want to thank them for popping in. That was so cool. I absolutely love these events. And as I always do, I always do a hit or miss video on what I saw. Now, some of these picks today, what I thought were hits, are actually maybe going to surprise some of you. It's not all DC stuff. It's a lot of mixture of things. And even some of the DC pieces, the DC announcements, I was disappointed in. And overall, I was just disappointed in the lack of DC that we actually got, considering there was so much teased in prior shows that we still haven't had a pre-order yet. So anyway, I'm going to show you the stuff that I like, why I like it, why I don't. And so here it goes. Prime One Studio, next level 11. Hit. Hit or miss. All right, guys. So here we go. Let's check out these videos together again. Next level showcase. So I'm going to kind of do a lot of my hits and misses kind of mixed and matched. Um, but my my big hit for tonight was the Alex Ross pieces. Um, I am so excited. Again, I had a little insight uh, that they were coming, and I have not seen renders or anything like that. So to finally see that this is coming to fruition, it's really awesome. I'm a big Alex Ross fan. I have a couple of his paintings here in my Batcave. And knowing that these high-end pieces are coming, there has been some custom ones done over the years. Uh, of course, Legendary Beast is doing their Alex Ross portrait, um, which I think is awesome. I love that, by the way. But this is going to be a quarter scale offering, um, which is going to be really nice. Uh, I can't wait to add the Batman to my back shelf. I think that's going to be awesome. I don't know if I would get Batman or excuse me, uh, Superman and Wonder Woman. I don't know. And again, they do tease those here. Um, so I don't know. I think it would be cool to have the Trinity, but I just don't know if I need a Superman in the collection. Um, so again, more legends coming. I would love to see them tackle a Joker, an Alex Ross Joker as well. Um, so again, how cool is it that they're doing Alex Ross? I just think that is so awesome. And again, the fact that they tease, I love the Batman uh, arms crossed. Again, it just reminds me of the piece that I had when I was younger. Um, I mean, just, it doesn't get much more iconic than that, really. It's just really well done, okay? There's Wonder Woman right there. Again, that was probably my biggest hit of the show that we actually got to see, okay? I just think that's really awesome um so again one four scale looks freaking good to me i mean they just they 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 nailed it blitzway good stuff right okay so now we're going to move on to another big hit of the show uh, i know jeff delaney agrees with me over at secret sanctuary um the keanu reeves pieces oh my good lord um blitzway is nailing it um I know that there's a couple of companies right now, uh, Queen Studios, J&D, Prime One, that are doing phenomenal likenesses. I personally prefer what Blitzway is doing um, because their sculpts are just really well done. I don't like, or I like the fact that they're not using silicone because um, I feel like silicone distorts the face a bit. This I think is really good. Is it 100% Keanu Reeves? I feel like it's 98% there for me on this one. I do feel like the um, the other one, the, uh, the John Wick, is a little bit better. I really like this base. I like that it's got the light up green effects. I think this one is going to be incredibly popular among Matrix fans. Um, again, it's got a lot of different swap outs. You can change the weapons. You can add the coat. You can take off the glasses. I think the eyes are really good. And again, that that's perfect. That's that's pretty that's pretty good. I feel like from a distance right there, it maybe looks 98%. But when they just showed his eyes, I would say 100% on that. That looked really good to me. And again, this is one third scale. Um, I just think it's awesome. I just think it's a really cool looking statue. I think it's going to be again really popular. Um, for sure among collectors okay um, and then of course that one's coming soon but then then again the John Wick one also and I do think the John Wick one probably for me is even better um, and maybe I'm just thinking of more modern uh, Keanu you know um, and please do not hunt me down guys I have not seen John Wick I have not seen John Wick I need to add it to my collection I need or my add it to my watch list I mean maybe I need to add it to my collection too uh, because he's just awesome um, but I have not seen that movie yet. Um, I have been watching uh, Fallout, which I absolutely love. Uh, I'm two episodes in, so that's my priority. Maybe John Wick could be after that. But 
Blitzway Prime One Studio. Come on, guys. You guys are rocking this stuff. Uh, again, all of these movie pieces are so well done. For so long, it was not great to be a movie statue collector because they were not great. Now everything is really good, and that's the problem. It's really expensive, but really good. Um, I just think that looks awesome. I mean, look at this. This is phenomenal. And, of course, it does have the second character, Kane. Uh, again, I'm not familiar with the characters. So I do know the actor, though, and I think that looks really good. Um, I love the idea that they're doing these pairings. I know J&D has done similar things. Uh, Prime 1 is doing similar things now. I'm surprised. Like I mentioned it on the live stream that, like, why do they not do Mr. Anderson? Like, that just uh, – or uh, Mr. Smith. I kept saying Mr. Anderson on the uh, – on the live stream, I'm just realizing again it's after midnight, uh, so I'm just realizing how many times I said Mr. Anderson, Mr. Smith, right? Mr. Smith is who I meant. I hope you guys knew what I was talking about. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I lost my marbles years ago. You guys know that if you're watching this. So anyway, I just think it's really cool. I love what they're doing. I would love to see more. Uh, again, I just. I just think it's awesome. I think the likeness is very good. I think that the Kane character probably won't sell a ton. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, there's a lot of John Wick fans out there. I just think that there's so many more Keanu Reeves fans out there. Um, and I just, uh, from top to bottom, I mean, as we look at this, we, we you just saw K.A. Kim. Uh, K.A. Kim is uh, just a phenomenal sculptor. Um, really well done. And I, I just, I can't, I can't say enough good things about her. I hope I have a chance uh, to meet her someday. I am going to Japan next year. And so hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, I'll have a chance to meet some of these incredible people. Um, but she, I'm a big fan of hers. Uh, she's just, I, everything I hear about her, just how amazing she is. And so, uh, there she is right there. And she's done so well at this company, uh, Blitzway, obviously, um, climbed the ladder and uh, it's deserved. She's phenomenal. Um, and they surround themselves with a lot of really great talent. Um, I really like these interviews with them to, to the, what Prime One's doing production value wise. Uh, I feel like that is a hit also. I, continue, I feel like it continues to be a hit. Um, in terms of what they do um, for the community here. Um, they really let us inside of what's going on. There's other companies like Sideshow that does a really great job with these videos as well. Um, some companies are good at letting us know kind of like in, in, in chats and um, things like that, but I feel like Prime One and um, and even, even J&D is doing a really good job with that too lately, I feel, um, with their videos. But I, I, again, it's, it's just always really cool to hear from K.A., um, and uh, hear what she has to say. And uh, I'm not as familiar with him. I want to know more about him. I, I don't know which one of these he sculpted. Maybe uh, Kane. Um, so I need to go back and watch it again. I, it's uh, it's just the, it's the night after we watched the live stream. So that was three hours. And uh, again, I, I have no idea what I'm talking about at this point. This is the delirious BSC. So this is what you get when you get super tired BSC. I start talking faster and I have no idea what I'm talking about. So anyway, <laughs> please bear with me, guys. Uh, so anyway, we'll move on from these. Again, I, I think these are just incredible hits. I think that uh, they definitely made the night for sure. Um, and again, Jeff Delaney, you got to get both of them, my friend. You got to get both, right? Uh, look at that Keanu face. Oh, my gosh, it looks good. It looks really good. That That is that is fantastic. Yeah, that is that is just fantastic. Big, big hit. Looks great. Okay, uh, another hit for me, uh, surprisingly, this was from The Witcher, and I don't know much about these characters. Uh, I watched a little bit of the TV show, um, and I just think this particular sculpt, the body, the clothing, the textures, she's just gorgeous. Um, just really stunning. Um, just a beautiful figure. I mean, just, I mean, look at that. Um, again, it might not be for everybody. Um, you know, it's maybe a little bit risque, uh, you know, uh, show some skin, but yeah, this is Triss Marigold. Uh, it's just, I think she's really beautiful. And again, it's a quarter scale piece. So I'm, I bet some of you are surprised I picked that as some of my top picks, right? Um, so now we're getting into, into other things that I liked, maybe not my top picks, but other things I liked. Um, I just like the fact that yes, these statues are awesome, right? I I've had both of them. The thing is, though, is I'm so happy for collectors. I'm happy for collectors that are finally going to be able to get this Superman, which is impossible to get a third scale, and the opportunity to be the best quarter scale statue of Superman out there. Again, it's subjective, of course, but everybody loves that statue. It's so well done. Uh, and I'm sure maybe in some cases it's overrated, but 
I love it. I think it's awesome, and I love that collectors are going to be able to add it to their collection. I like that they minimize the bases. I think that was really smart. Uh, I think that they tweaked the cape a little bit. I said that in my reaction video. Uh, and again, thank you everybody that's watched those videos as well. Um, but I, I think the biggest miss for me is they didn't add the the um, the bats on the back of the cape. I think that should have been done. I could see where they took them off the base. I think that it was great that they got rid of the monitor that was just obnoxiously big. Um, but I, I think the bats on the shoulder would have been a nice touch. I do like that they're including the different portraits. I don't know if they're going to do a version A and B type of situation with that. But I do feel like it's a missed opportunity to have um, the bats. It does make me kind of wonder if maybe the suits will be PVC this time around instead of those that heavy material. I think I'll oh, prime one. Make it PVC. That would be awesome. Um, it's It would just be so much better. And I'm glad that it's not fabric. I'm glad that they're sculpted here. Um, that way they match. I mean, come on. These just these, they look awesome. Just pray that Batman doesn't lean. <laughs> Again, my Batman leans uh, at third scale, but it's because of the cape. Uh, the cape is just too heavy. So I'm hoping this is PVC, but we'll find out. Um, so anyway, um, another piece I thought was cool. Uh, I, I do like this. I do feel like it's a, a bit of a slap in the face just in the fact that, you know, we're some of our classic characters, right? I mean, we've had a Lobo already. Metal is cool. There's a, the people love the line, but there's a lot of people that don't really care about the line either. So I think it's a neat statue. I love that portrait with the Batman cowl. So I think it's going to be awesome. I just would have preferred a, you know, a Clayface or Man Bat or just somebody, uh, you know, Ra's al Ghul. Just would have been cool. So that that that's the only miss for me. Um, and the other miss with the with the hush pieces was that they haven't shown they they didn't show us Catwoman. So that that sucks, you know. Um, this is a hit for me. Uh, it, again, it's not something I would buy, but I think it's really well done. Um, this movie was very popular, um, very creepy, and I feel like they really captured the spirit of her here. And especially in the pose with that kind of that, you know, that sway uh, when she does the dancing uh, before she goes off to have her fun. Uh, I just think it's really good. And I I think this is going to be a big seller uh, for Prime 1. Um, it is a third scale, um, which again, she's a, a child. So it's not going to be a very big piece. But to me, it was a hit. I think it's really cool. Uh, I really like what I saw there. Um and again, again, I, I know that they said they're going to do a sequel, so I, I just think this is going to be, I think it's going to be well received. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, next up, again, this is not something I would buy, but I was just impressed by the artistry. This is quarter scale. Think of this. Good Lord. Are those, are those individual figures going to be quarter scale? If that's the case... This thing is going to literally, pun intended, be monstrous. Um, I am just so impressed with just how much, how, just the amount of balls it takes to create something like this and the, the amount of real estate it's going to take up. And as our good friend Jeff Morris says, you know, you're going to have to put this on your freaking coffee table. This is definitely a coffee table piece. Um, but I thought it was well done. I also like that they did... Um, this one in this is going to be a third scale because all of this stuff that they've been doing so far i believe has been quarter scale and but this is going to be a third scale piece so this is going to be a massive piece but i really do think that this is going to be um, a very cool looking statue when it's all said and done uh, at third scale it's going to be a mighty piece of course soren um just really cool i thought that was a hit for me um even though i'm not collecting it i thought it was cool this is something else just I, I, I threw this on here because I thought it was just like oh my god this thing is insane this I called it the Stargate like I mean I'm, I'm literally speechless in the size of it I, again talk about dining room table you're gonna have to put two dining room tables together uh, to accommodate this I don't know which collector is gonna be adding this to the collection other than our statue collector maybe give a shout out to art what do you think of this one art I mean this one's right up your alley right um, it's, it's just the biggest statue I've ever seen. Like it is nuts watching them put this thing together. I can't even imagine the price. I can't even imagine the, um, the shipping. It, it, but anyway, it's just, it, just the ballsiness of it again is a hit for me. Um, I love the art direction of it. Um, 
Oh, well, here we go. We got Megan again. So I obviously have these out of order. <laughs> again, it's after midnight. So we'll just talk about Megan just for a little bit longer. I'm not going to go back and re-edit. I, I got to get some sleep. But uh, anyway, yeah, just there There we got to see a little bit more of her. Again, I'm really sorry it's out of order, guys. Um, I, try to, I try to be professional here, but, uh, you know, I, whatever. I, I suck tonight. Um, but anyway, I, I like the... Uh, I like the pose of her again. I just think she's really cool and ugh, just creepy, right? Brr, creepy, right? Um, but it definitely has that doll feel. I think the eyes are captured really nicely. And again, it's, it's just that pose. Are they going to do a bloody knife? They kind of showed one in the preview, but I don't know if they actually are including that or not. I guess you could add your own. Um, and there she's not holding anything. So I do like that. It is rooted hair. Um, this is the same company that it's in conjunction with this company, and I can't remember. I'll have to go back and watch this. But um, they're the one that did the Snape. Um, they're kind of like these limited edition premium, um, you know, premium figures. And so I don't, I don't know what the edition size will be. Uh, they talked about her puffiness of her hand, how it, you know, it's just again, it's just that that that's that head sway. Um, I'm just really impressed with that. That 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 is, you know, impressive to me. That blew me away. Um, and it's just something so simple, but I think it's cool. I need to watch this movie. I'm not a big horror movie fan. I used to be, but uh, we don't watch very many anymore. But maybe I need to check this one out. It looks really good. <laughs> I've heard I've heard good things anyway. So we'll see. But yeah, again, it's a it's a hit for me. I think it's really just a cool piece. And again, it's really cool to to see some of these other Prime One people. Um, like I mentioned, just to be able to see um, the behind the scenes, I think it's just more than anything. I think it's a, a privilege to be able to get to know some of these incred uh, incredible creatives, um, you know, through and through f with Prime One. I just I, I'm I'm very impressed. So anyway, we'll move on. I'm sorry I had so much footage of Megan, but I thought she was cool. Um, so and again, I'm sorry she was out of order. Uh, so we're going to move on next to the next one, and the next piece is going to be, I don't even remember which one this is. Oh yeah, this is from The Boys. Um, this is another show I have not watched. Um, Jeff Delaney, again, thought this portrait was very accurate. Again, I have not watched the show. It's another one on my to-do list or to-must-watch list, uh, but he thought the portrait was really good. This one's quarter scale. I was kind of surprised, but I, I could see maybe why. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the Black Adam or some of the other ones that they've done movie wise and they haven't really sold very well. And so, um, you know, the edition sizes have been pretty small. Um, so I can see where maybe this is going to be quarter scale. Um, I thought this one, though, this one I was really impressed with the lightness. I think they did a really nice job um, light up feature. But I mean, look at that. That is that is fantastic to me. Um, and again, he's got a joke of crowbar. What's not to like? But uh Butcher here again. I don't. I'm not familiar with the character yet, um, but I do know the actor, and the actor that, that looks just like him. I mean, I think that looks fantastic. So, I'm curious as to what you guys think. Are you, you know, are you a big, are you a big boys fan, Homelander fan? Let me know. Um, again, it was just kind of ho hum for me on this one. Uh, another ho hum. This is a ho hum for me. Um, surprising, I know. I've been asking for a Riddler. Now, these are just drawings, okay? Um, and so the final product, I have a feeling I'm going to like, um, but I don't love this suit. I don't love the suit here and I don't love the cartooniness of this. Again, I don't know if they will change this. I don't, I, I still have faith. I have faith that prime one will make this Riddler look really great, but just what I saw there, it doesn't excite me a ton. Okay. Don't, don't come kill me. Okay. Uh, Another ho hum for me is this. Um, I think it's great. They're they're offering this in, in half scale. I think that's really great, and a lot of collectors are going to love that. Um, for me, what was the miss is that I wanted a penguin or a Nicholson, which we'll never get, or Max Shrek. Um, but I think it's cool. I wish that this had been something different than the third. Um, again, give us the return suit. If it was the return suit, I would have bought it. I hate half scale. I'm not a fan but I probably would have bought it for the return suit. So that little change might have been awesome, um, but it is what it is. It's just basically an exact copy of the third scale, which I am getting. So I'm happy with my third scale. I don't need the half, or I don't need the half scale. I'm getting the third scale, but I just would have loved to have seen 
uh, a penguin, I guess, uh, you know, to be honest. So it's a bit of a ho-hum, even though I think it looks cool. But it is what it is. It's still cool. It's just I would have liked to have seen more. Uh, the last thing I want to say is this is one of my favorite parts of the video. Um, again, just letting us as fans get to know some of these people. Of course, Johnny uh, Matsumoto is the creative director. Uh, I have a chance to talk to him from time to time and just an incredible creative. Um, he was a massive DC fan. Um, and so to be able to see the names behind these faces and to be able to see the names of these artists, um, who the producers of these videos are and, and all of the love that goes into this production, it's clear. And so for me, that, that alone is a massive hit. The production value and just being able to introduce us to some of these artists, the cinematographer, the artists that work on this stuff, that meant a lot to me on this show. And I'm, I'm sure most of you just kind of pan right by it. But I am a true fan of the artistry of this. There's John Pham. I've had a chance to meet him. Great guy. Um, and so that, to me, was a big special part of uh, the show. I really did enjoy that aspect of just getting to know the creatives a little bit better. So there you guys have it. I'm going to turn it over to you. What stuff did you like? You know, which pieces did you feel like were really good? And of course, I didn't feature everything shown on this video. There was a lot of really cool pieces, but just something there. Some of the pieces didn't necessarily speak to me. Again, there was a lot of really beautiful art, a lot of anime, a lot of video game stuff that I just don't care for because I'm not invested in that stuff. But I know so many of you are. So let me know which pieces you liked down below. Again, I really liked the idea that Prime One showed their artists, like who is responsible, actually put names and faces, which I really liked. Um, also, I really liked that Prime One did the release dates, like summer of 2024 or coming in May of 2024. That is smart. We've been wanting that for a long time. Definitely, I definitely noticed, I don't know if you guys did at home, but I thought that was really considerate and really nice. I really like what Prime One is doing. Yes, I would have loved more DC pieces. Again, that was a big letdown for me. Uh, why we didn't see the Hush Catwoman, why we didn't see the Dark Knight Returns pieces, why we didn't see this and that especially Mask of the Phantasm. I would have loved to have seen that. Um, they did kind of tease it a little bit in that in that video package. But I want them to keep making DC pieces. I want them to keep doing this incredible art because Prime One to me is still the my favorite company. I love, love what Prime One does. Um, most of my collection is Prime One, and there's a reason because it's just phenomenal stuff. Um, I'm disappointed by the Riddler, what I saw. Again, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that that turns out better than I think it's going to. But time will tell. Fingers crossed, like I said. So again, let me know what you guys think. Again, thank you so very much. And again, thank you to everybody that tuned in for the live watch-along party. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I had my popcorn. I ate all that. And I had my, uh, my caffeine. And again, it's after midnight. So... I'm going to keep uh, working. I'm going to keep editing this for you guys. And then I'm probably going to take a little nap. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed this today. And again, thank you so very much for continuing to be part of this channel. We are now, believe it or not, we are now on the road to 100K. Um, I'm just blown away by how amazing you all are. And thank you for supporting me uh, like you guys do. It means the world to me. So. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> Have a great night. I'll see you in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the back cave.